At least 10 deaths reported this flu season in the Palmetto State. New numbers are expected out today. The activity map released by CDC shows a high level of flu activity across South Carolina. News 2's Taylor Murray is live outside the Department of Health and Environmental Control's Charleston County Clinic. Taylor, the CDC estimates nearly 4 million Americans already had the flu or a flu-related illness this season. Temple and nearly 90 people were hospitalized due to the flu or flu related illnesses the week ending in December 14th here in South Carolina alone. Now, five children from infancy to four years old visited the hospital. Twelve children between the ages of five and 17 were hospitalized. Twenty people between the ages of 18 and 49 were sent to the hospital. People between 50 and 64 had 20 hospital stays, and there were 25 hospitalizations of people 65 and older. Health experts say the flu is transmitted from person to person when someone carrying the active virus coughs or sneezes. According to the CDC, last week, flu activity peaked nationwide. One doctor laid out why it's so important to get the flu shot. So it's extremely important that we get vaccinated, uh, especially the younger population like kids and the older uh, population who are more than 65 because they're prone for complications, which could be pneumonia, uh, ear infection, sinus infection. And it's recommended that everyone six months and older get that flu shot. I'm reporting live at DHEX Charleston County Clinic. Taylor Murray, Count on Two.